everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to talk about a team surrounding around life as far as doing the most damage as possible. Now, I made a previous video about the four star Acacia and I've talked about the five star Acacia before and why there's such amazing supports for really any character in the game. And life is just no exception rule, but life really benefits from having, especially the five star Acacia on the team, because whenever you equip the Twilight Squad to the five star Acacia, you actually get the frost resistance down, which is pretty damn sweet. Really adds to the damage on top of the all resistant type down that Acacia has from her moon darts. And also we have those logistics equipped on Acacia, the four star Acacia that has the navigator's squad equip that is actually giving us an extra 14 percent increase to our damage on top of the weapon that is on both of the caches that is actually increasing our damage it's just an insane support team but i'm going to show you another team guys where we're actually going to be using the four star turno instead of or in place of the four star acacia but when it comes to life's bill that's really what i want to focus on in this runs that you guys are watching if you notice guys we're facing this behavior boss this is a seven thousand point neural connection boss from last week and he does have a shield that white bar that's up in the top is a shield well the thing about life is the logistics set that they recommend for her is the db squad or the dawn set and this is a really really good set for her as far as damage because it does increase her active skill damage by 24 percent and it does you know every time a standard skill or ultimate skill or sword skill hits the target it increases her own attack by two percent for five seconds and this stacks up to 20 times which is four 40% extra attack on top of the 24% active skill damage. This is really, really good for life. However, you will find against certain bosses, especially bosses with shields, that having that ballistic damage is really going to help. So what I would recommend for you guys, if you are building life, is to go ahead and throw the Dharma Squad on her. Now the Dharma Squad, uh, just to say, is actually pretty damn OP for this character for a couple reasons. One, it increases your ballistic damage by 24%, which is your bullet damage. It's just gonna give you penetration more or less to where you can actually break those shields a whole lot faster and make it the difference in getting it done in these runs. And it also, after you use a standard skill, it increases her standard still ballistic damage by 46%. This is a total of 70% ballistic damage which is pretty damn sweet, especially for a character with a submachine gun that has a rapid rate of fire. You're able to, I mean, if you look at how fast, guys, I'm breaking that shield, it's pretty nuts, especially after I use my standard skill. And the thing that's awesome about life and about her standard skill, about the Frost Wolf skill, is that this is only on a five second cooldown. So with the Dharma set on her, you pretty much can keep up those ballistic damage buffs the entire time every five seconds you're going to be able to use your standard skill with life and you're going to get that extra 46 percent increase to your ballistic damage it's actually an op set for her and both of the runs that i'm going to show you today guys i'm going to be using that set and i'm telling you especially against this behavior boss with that shield this set was way better than the set that they recommend for her the set that they recommend took me about a minute longer compared to this set that I have equipped, right? The uh, Dharma set is OP as hell for this girl and this life has no manifestations. She is level 73 and she does have a tier two weapon, which is nice guys, right? But even if you don't have a tier two weapon, there's still a lot of room to grow because you know, she isn't level 80 yet. For all those of you that have life, maybe just have her weapon or maybe you're just using a five-star weapon. She's still gonna be able to do this, uh, especially if you're using these kinds of buffs. Now, if you don't have the five star Acacia, I'd recommend just throwing in a healing support in there so you can add a little extra survivability because the caveat to the teams that I'm showing you is that they're really mainly just for straight up damage. Now, this boss here and the next boss that I'm gonna show you, I don't think really are all that difficult to whoop up on guys. It's really just a matter of doing a bunch of headshots and just doing as much damage as possible. The weak spots on both the bosses I'm gonna show you, their, their weak spots are their heads. Now this life's man, she has no manifestations guys, which is pretty freaking wild. And her neuronics are completely maxed out. Now this is important for her because whenever you max out her neuronics, and as you guys just saw, that's a 7,000 point clear against behavior and it took 
you know, a total of four minutes and 30 seconds. And with the set that they recommend, I couldn't even do it, guys. I just, I couldn't beat it. I had a lot of problems. But whenever I changed to the Dharma set, increasing that ballistic damage, we got it done. Yeah, that's right. Let's freaking go. So now we're going to go against Bison. This is a 7,000 point neural connection against Bison. And we're actually using Cherno. Now I'm going to jump into Cherno here in a little bit and talk about her and why she's actually a really good alternative to the four star Acacia. So again, with Life's Index, sorry guys, I kind of got off the trails a little bit, but whenever you get to Life's Alignment Index, the skill damage of life wild hunt increases by 14%, and for each 100 alignment index, increases an extra 3%. Damage dealt toward targets under frozen effect increases to 140 or 150%. Now, this is really, really important because whenever you max out all of her neuronics, which I have, you are going to get an extra 26% damage on your skills which is massive guys it's a huge increase to your damage now let's jump on cherno and why she's actually also a really really good alternative to the four star acacia now cherno something that's really nice about her guys is the weapon that you can use on this character her weapon the bodyguard weapon it actually was gave to us from a free selector and what this weapon does is after applying control effect which cherno has whenever you use her support skill it increases the damage of the full squad by nine percent for five seconds that is a massive massive leap in damage guys that's so good but if you don't have that weapon, you could always uh, equip the Frigate Bird weapon, which actually, whenever sports skill is used, the deployed operative will gain bonus attack equal to a certain percentage of the weapon used attack for 15 seconds. So you'll get a 15 second buff for your entire team every time you use Cherno's support skill for 15 seconds. And in a way, it's actually better than the other weapon I just previously mentioned because the buff lasts for 15 seconds instead of five seconds that's kind of the thing that sucks about you know the weapon that i do have equipped on her is that the buff only lasts for five seconds but the increased damage to full squad or increased damage by nine percent is pretty massive for her the other thing that you know uh, about her is that you can use those same logistics that i showed you guys in the previous video with acacia which is the navigator squad that you can actually buy from the shop which increases your active skill damage by 24 percent after applying control effect the damage taken by the target increases by 14 percent for 10 seconds and it is just an insane set on cherno or the four star acacia it is just such a massive set for them boy i just took a pretty big shot right there that wasn't good at all right and again guys if you don't have the five star acacia you could always you know just use the four star yao and just have a nice little healer or you could use four star ginseng as well and have a nice little healer right i just say yao because she actually has frost damage you know and we do get a limited uh weapon for her that is frost damage so i just think that she'd probably be a little bit more optimal but uh this boss really wasn't that difficult at all to do with my life you know and I've, I've told you guys the bills she doesn't have any manifestations and the trick with Cherno, guys like seriously you need to make sure you're always close to the boss and really for bison here turtle is actually really really good once you get it down you get the patterns down as far as playing with this boss and watch what i do i will use turtle i don't want to attack right now because those barricades are there and we can take a lot of damage from those things so i'm kind of waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until I get the right moment to where I can use Cherno's skill, right? And then boom, I slide through them. You want to immediately dodge after you slide through them with Cherno. That will take you out of the animation. And you can go switch automatically back to your previous damage dealer. And you can start doing a bunch and bunch of damage. Now, full transparency, guys. This run without the five-star Acacia, I don't think I could have done. I think it, 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 it's close, but I couldn't quite get it done without her however this is a level 73 life and this is a life with no manifestations right and i almost got her at m1 myself those of you that have been playing this game ever since the beginning you're already going to have her at a1 and you really won't even need five star acacia to do this run right you just got to make sure you dodge always make sure you're going for the head it's all about the head with both these bosses that we are facing i mean we're getting it done guys and again you know now i guess this boss guys because you don't you know see that shield the set that i have equipped the dharma sweat set isn't you know it isn't as beneficial as the set that they do recommend for life it's not as beneficial i mean really the set that they recommend for life is actually really good against this boss 
which is the Phoebe set. But as you guys see, we were able to get this done, right? in four minutes and 30 seconds, a max neural simulation boss, which is pretty phenomenal, guys. So, I mean, though that's really the best team that you really want to have on the characters. I've already explained how you want to build Acacia, and in all honesty, guys, you want to build Eternal the same way that I told you to build Acacia. Whenever you're just leveling up these logistics, these are logistics you want to equip on either Eternal or Acacia, you want to try to level up the attack, which is this middle one for sure, because the more attack they have, the more their weapon's actually going to benefit them. I mean, if you're using this weapon, the attack really is going to benefit, but you're still going to get extra attack from doing the chaos damage whenever you apply the slow mode. So you still want to level up at least that middle logistic. And Cherno, you know, when it comes to leveling up her Neuronics, I mean, it is good, guys, but it does increase the HP, but it's not really increasing your damage. It's just going to really help with survivability. But I wanted to show you guys a couple runs using life, you know, with Cherno, with Acacia, to show really how good both these characters are used as supports. And when you build your life, whenever you're building life, guys, on your logistics, you're really shooting for, as far as the extra stats, you're really shooting for, you know, auxiliary uh, strength. That is going to be massive for her because whenever you start leveling up her manifestations, that's really what's going to be getting buffed up. It's her standard skill. So if you get auxiliary strength on these, that's going to be optimal for her. If you get frost damage, I'd probably settle for that. And then you definitely want to go for attack up and top. Maybe critical damage amplifier would be also a really, really good one for her. And also, just so you guys know, I mean, this does increase your ballistic damage by 70%. Well, there is another set in the shop that I do plan on queuing up later on that actually increases your ballistic damage by uh, quite a bit more because this set actually increases your ballistic damage by 24%. And then 3% stacks up to 20 times. And with a submachine gun, that's going to be pretty optimal for a character like life. You're looking at an extra 60%, 24. You're looking at 84% ballistic damage compared to the 70% that I was showing you from the Dharma squad. And this set, you don't even have to use your standard skill. It's just shooting continuously, guys. So, so once you reload your weapon and you start barreling down your bullets you're going to get up to that 84 percent ballistic damage pretty damn quick so i do think that this set will probably be the best for her but if you're just farming in the shop i do think the dharma squad is really the way to go with the character but there may be situations where the recommended set would still be better it's just the bosses that i faced so far with life it really just seems like the dharma set is the best but i do think there are certain situations especially when there isn't a shield at all that the dawn set or the thebe squad set is going to be the best in slot for her so I know it sucks that you guys are hearing about two different sets on the character, but something to keep in mind, guys, is that the Thebe squad will actually buff up all her M or all her manifestations because her manifestations buff her standard skill. When you increase your attack, guys, you are buffing up everything the bullet damage you're buffing up the standard skill so i think maybe whenever she's like m1 m2 m3 then i think this set is actually going to outshine the dharma squad set but without any manifestations it does appear that the dharma set is the best set for her so due to the farming of resources in this game it might be better to go ahead and give her her recommended set but boy this set really does the dharma set really does prove to be pretty insane on this character so guys let me know what you think about life and her teams and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m to plus seven time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody take care